Well, good morning and happy tool of the day, 34. Oh, 34. 34 is a good one. 34 is another problem solving tool. It's a tool that, well, when you need it, you need it. And that's going to be a battery charger. This is a 12 volt battery charger. This is the kind of thing that you can plug into the wall and you can hook up to a battery. This is a 12 volt battery, just like a car uses a 12 volt battery, just like this fire truck uses a 12 volt battery. Now, not all 12 volt batteries are the same. Uh, this 12 volt battery is for an alarm center, or alarm box is a backup battery. Uh, you could start maybe a small lawnmower with this battery, very small push mower. Um, and uh, a car uses a, a battery that's that's oh, probably 10 to 12 times bigger than this. Um, and uh, the fire truck uses a battery that is uh, 50 times bigger than this. Uh, I have over a thousand cranking amps on this. It's a huge, huge, huge battery. Uh, remind me to show you during Fire Truck Friday. So this battery charger, um, it's called a 21050. So it's a trickle charger. Uh, a trickle charger means which fingers where a trickle charger uh, means that uh, you can basically give it a very low charge over a long period of time so that's called a two amp charge now amp is the amount of electricity okay it's how much think of it as how much water is coming out of a hose not how fast or how much force is pushing the water but the amount of water and that's what amps refers to in electricity Okay, uh, and then volts is the amount of pressure, the amount of force pushing that electricity. So 12 volts isn't really very much. Uh, if I touch this and it's 12 volts, I probably I will not feel it. Um, uh, if I have 10,000 volts, I'm gonna feel it. If I have 120 volts, I'm gonna feel it. Uh, and so volts is how fast that electricity is moving, but it doesn't have to do with how much. So that's what this has to do with, is the amount of electricity. And so the two amps is a trickle charger, okay? And that's, so that's over long term. So I've been trickle charging this battery for a couple of days to kind of build it back up um, so that I can do a couple of fun things this week uh, for Fire Truck Friday with you. Um, there's the battery charger itself, like if the battery is just downright dead, then you can put it at 10 amps and that is a, a charge that you normally you would do kind of overnight. Uh, usually it's a 12 hour charge. And then, uh, then the 50 amp is if the, the battery's dead and you need to start the car or the lawnmower or whatever it is, and so you wanna give it 50 amps, the full amount, but that's only for a small period of time. Like I would put it on 50 amps and I would go around, get in the car and try and start it. Once it started at 50 amps, then I would disconnect these leads and uh, I would be all done using it. Um, so that's a battery charger and uh, plugs into the wall. And these little guys, um, these are uh, red for positive and black for negative. And it's kind of like jumper cables. If I was going to jump a car or jump start a car, then I would take a, a, a pair of cables that have these on each end and I would put the positive on the battery, negative on the battery of the car that's good. And on the other end, I would hook up the positive and the negative. And that basically uses the good battery in somebody's car who's, that's working, and it jumps it to the car that's not working. Now there's one more thing I wanna show you in this, and that is this really cool, inexpensive trickle charger. So I got this for the fire truck. The fire truck's gonna be sitting all winter and the battery's in great shape, but sometimes when batteries sit for a long time, it's a good idea to have them on a little bit of a charger. So this plugs into the wall, and, and this is, you've seen these before, right? This is an AC-DC adapter. So this, this provides 12 volts and 0.6 amps, 0.6, so 600 milliamps. <laughs> we should get into electricity more. I love electricity, it's really kind of a shocking thing. Um, so this is 0.6 amps and um, and it has a little uh, control box here that controls the flow of electricity to make sure it's even and consistent. And then this hooks to the battery and you can plug it in and leave it all winter. If you have a, a cabin or something and you've got a lawnmowers or tractors, 
put one of these on each one, boop, boop, boop. And when you get there in the spring, the batteries are still gonna be good. Um, so the cold temperatures won't wear them down. This kind of keeps the electricity going in those batteries. And uh, there's sensors in here to make sure that it's not overcharged. Pretty cool, really. Uh, so I'm in the process of putting these on a few things, a riding lawnmower for one, the fire truck for the other. So there it is, and there you have it, tool of the day number 34. <laughs>